Recovery gives me hope. I have to live with hope. And how do I get there? I get there through what uh, um, a Jewish concept called tshuva. Tshuva is where I do an accounting of my soul. A real inventory yeah. of my soul. So how are we going to do it this year? What are we going to do this year to make sure that the shofar blast stays in our souls, keeps us woken up? What are we going to do? Beit Shuva is the result of my own sense of longing for a way to make a difference in the world, uh, to have an impact on people. You know, addiction itself is still so looked down upon, so it's hard for people to ask for help or want to be associated with people who do need that sort of help. I would say addiction is a spiritual malady. I think it's a sense, uh, it's a void, it's an emptiness. Uh, a spiritual bottom, and what I like to call is a like God-sized hole. I can't be filled by anything like that. My identity was being a junkie and a heroin addict, and that, that was it, really, because I did it from so young, and, and now that's like, that feels very far away. Miracles happen here every day. I mean, transformation is a miracle. The fact that people can come in hopeless and despairing and um, hating themselves and, and grow in, in love and in life and find connection with each other and with God is a miracle. God is not the book. Because how can you take words from an infinite source, an infinite mind, an infinite spirit, an infinite energy, put it in a book and say, it's only this way. In fact, in the Jewish tradition, we're told that there's 70 ways to understand the Bible. So if there's 70 ways to understand it, how can I have the only, only the one way? And how can only my way be right? If you're a Harry, that is the same. The light, good. The dark, very good. So, with that philosophy in mind, that was a, that was a relief for me to, to realize that it's okay to struggle. Yeah, the worse it got, the more willingness crept in. God doesn't tell me this is the only way. God says, here's the concept. Find your unique way of living it and bring joy and hope and love and kindness and truth and justice and compassion and caring in the world.